Hi, my name is Shani Cole and welcome to my channel Handbags and Happiness. I usually do videos strictly about handbags, but I just got back from a wonderful vacation at the Haven, Riviera Maya in Cancun, Mexico. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the resort's food and beverages. In part one, I talked about the room, the spa, the pools and the beach, but this video is all about the food and drinks. First up is my favorite restaurant, which was Flavors. Flavors is a buffet that serves both breakfast and lunch. And I ate here just about every day, either for breakfast or lunch, usually for breakfast. In this video, I'm getting a nice vegetable omelet. They have a made to order grill. You can get anything you want. This was a beautiful egg white omelet I had the first day I was there and it was absolutely delicious. They also had hot stations where you could get bacon, meats, eggs, beans, just everything. It changed up different from day to day. You did have to wear a mask when you were in the buffet area, but it was self-serve. My boyfriend Chris loved the smoothies and pressed juices. They had a whole back row of bread and pastries, parfaits, fruits. Some fruits I had never seen before. They were just beautiful and fresh. They had a tamale station, they had all kind of ceviches, salsas, just a great assortment of both American, continental, and Mexican food. They even had a little Japanese sushi, and I think these are called poke bowls. So there was something on this buffet for everybody, and I'm not a buffet type person, but this is by far, oh, pocket bowls. These, this was by far one of the best buffets I've ever been to. Like I said, I ate here every day. The food had great taste, great flavor. If there was something on the buffet, like most days they had a spicy green uh, Tommy Tia salsa type. And some days it was too spicy for me, so they would bring out from the back a red uh, salsa that was mild somebody would go and make it and or they had it made I don't know but if there was something on the bar that you didn't want or you needed they were really great about going to get it they had a lot of pastries and ice cream I, you just could not go hungry eating that flavors every day pizza more hot food in the afternoon and the buffet was different every day like breakfast had some of the standard food but the afternoons there was something different they had meats that they would cook for you, you get tacos made you get chicken grilled you get fish grilled they had pastas all kind of vegetables it was just anything you can think of eating there was some variation on the buffet They also had a cold bar every day with oysters. Uh, there was squid one day. There's some mussels, clams, tons and tons of pastries. Like I said, you were not gonna go hungry eating that flavors. The next stop, I'm not gonna pronounce the names of some of these restaurants because I don't know them, but this was the Japanese steakhouse. We ate hibachi here two nights during our eight night vacation. It was very entertaining. They also have an a la carte menu where you could sit in the back. The only part that you need a reservation for is the hibachi. They do it every hour on the hour, I believe between six and nine, but there was no reservation needed if you just wanted to eat off the a la carte menu. We did look at the a la carte menu and I did have a soup off of it, and I will say it was not very good. And most people said that the a la carte menu was not as good as the hibachi. I've had hibachi a lot. And I would rate this hibachi probably an A minus. The steak was just phenomenal. The shrimp was good. The chicken was okay. And the rice was okay. But we ate here twice, so we liked it. Next up was the steakhouse, the Mexican steakhouse. We ate here our first night. Chris uh, was not a fan. He had the shrimp tacos with bacon, but they were really good. And I had the steak. It was pretty good, but it wasn't really Mexican food. Next we ate at Velmar. Velmar was probably my second favorite restaurant. It was an, it's an Italian restaurant. It was really good. Um, this was like a lobster shrimp seafood bisque. Then the salad, I wasn't a fan of. It was an Italian balsamic salad, but the lasagna was absolutely amazing. And I couldn't decide between the lasagna and the steak, so they brought me both. 
Next, there's Oleos. This is the upscale restaurant. You have to dress up and have a reservation. They gave us a beautiful table in the back. I had the cream of artichoke soup, which was absolutely delicious. Chris had the deconstructed French onion soup, was also good, he said. We had the lobster salad. I loved it. It was very fresh, and it had like a honey balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Then we shared three entrees. Chris had the beef. I had the sea bass. Oh my God, it was so good. And then a lasagna in the middle. The lasagna was okay. It had carrots. Here are two desserts. We had a mousse and a pistachio type something. I'm not a big dessert person. We only ate at Vista's once. It's, it's completely for Serenity guests. I wasn't a fan of any of the food. It was horrible. Next is the Serenity Club. It's an area where you can go watch TV. Relax, they have premium liquors, uh, fruit, snacks, beverages. It just was a really nice, cool, chill place. Uh, you could go here during the day, have some coffee, um, get out from the sun, have wine. They had board games there. It was very clean and they had a huge screen TV. Just a very nice laid back atmosphere. The two or three times we went in the Serenity Room, Nobody else was there, maybe, or just one or two people. Now the coffee shop. We loved the coffee shop. It was amazing. I wish I would've ate there more, drank there more. Um, I don't drink coffee, but halfway through the visit, I found out they make smoothies. They have a red smoothie and a kiwi smoothie. You could also get snacks. The coffee shop opens at six, five or 6 a.m. and it's open all the way till midnight. They have pastries in the morning and they have like little sandwiches and salads throughout the day they also have ice cream it's right when you first walk into the resort on the right hand side and it's a must-have definitely go in there have one of the girls our gal guys make you something and definitely tip them because they work hard We ordered room service a few times, especially when we came back from excursions. This was a fruit and cheese tray that our butler left for us. This was on our last day. We ordered breakfast and had it out on our balcony. We also, room service also brought us champagne and chocolate covered strawberries. Mistrial is a little grill outside of the circular pool. They had basics like BLT sandwiches and hamburgers. We never ate there, but it was pretty busy most of the time. We went to Lime's twice, which is the upscale bar. This is the Bumblebee, and my other favorite drink there, which I don't have a picture of, was the Cucumber Mojito. Just want to give you some FYIs. There is, this rest resort is non-smoking, but they do have areas throughout the resort where you can go and smoke. Most of them are down by the beach area, and they have a designated smoking area sign. Lastly, I wanted to give you all the menus from all the restaurants, so, all the restaurants that are a la carte, I've inserted the menus. Now this is as of July 2021. So you can see what is served at each one if you're considering this resort. Some of the restaurants do have things on the menu that do cost extra even though this is an all-inclusive resort. For example, at Valmar, you would have to pay $65 if you wanted a lobster special dinner. Wines, bottles of wines and champagne like Moet were an additional charge. And I believe that's about it. But it's definitely, overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give the food at this resort an 8. And on a scale of 1 to 10, the alcohol and the drinks and beverages, I'll probably give a 6.5. The drinks were kind of weak. They don't have a signature cocktail menu. They don't have a blender at every bar. So frozen drinks were hard to come by. But like I said, you could always, you know, ask. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you give the Haven Riviera Cancun a try on your next vacation. We had a great time. Until the next video, be safe and be happy. Bye now.